Hello there adventurers and welcome to Wally DM. In today's puzzle our adventuring party enters a room with a large windpipe organ in it. And in order to solve the puzzle they're going to have to play a, a little tune. And no experience required, they just have to play in the key of C. And thank you for joining me. When I run this puzzle in my gaming session, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna divide it into two different rooms. I'm gonna have one room where the puzzle is, and the other room where the clues are. So in this instance, my uh, my three players, their characters are in the dungeon, and if they decide to go west, that's gonna go towards the clue room. If they decide to go east, it's gonna go towards the puzzle room. Let's start with east. So our party has come to a closed door, and of course this door will probably um, not be locked, but it may have a trap on it, so the thief might want to search it. Regardless, the players are able to open the door and come into this room here. Now along the north wall of this room is a very large, very massive pipe organ. Now, if the party goes up to the pipe organ, so if the party goes up to the pipe organ, it is in great working condition. It's a little dusty, but it is a beautiful piece of artwork. It is an old medieval organ and it plays nicely. In fact, if there is a bard there, um, the bard may do a, if, if they're not proficient in the, um, organ or piano they can maybe do a knowledge check and maybe even play a little tune for the rest of the party just so you know a little song a little bit of organ music so the organ works great now the second the, the actual part of the puzzle is right over here along the east wall the wall looks like it has a drawing of a door on it so right here is a drawing it is not an actual door. It actually feels like a stone wall like the rest of the room, but they can see a drawing. Now, by searching the room, they may find either inscribed on the organ or inscribed on the wall, or maybe they find uh, a little crate over here and they find, you know, an old scroll that says, uh, play the correct tune to open the door. So it should become apparent to the players that in order to open this door that is drawn onto a wall, that they have to play a tune on this organ. Of course, right now they have no idea what that tune would be. They have no idea what song to play. Um, even a bard could do all of the knowledge checks in the world and have no idea what song to play. So after some time, I'm sure the players will give up and they will backtrack and go back to the west, which will lead them to the clue room. So now our adventuring party is in the clue room and uh, it does have a treasure chest in here. Maybe, you know, um, give the party a, a few gold or whatnot. Maybe it has a trap on it and they open it and it's trapped and the party takes a little bit of damage and we'll throw a few healing potions in there maybe if they need to heal up a little bit. While the treasure chest really has has nothing to do with the puzzle, what does is along the north wall, if the players look up, they see five paintings and they're uh, displayed very nicely and these paintings are elegant and uh, they look really nice and these are the actual clues that the players need to get the organ to work. And I'm gonna show you each of the paintings. We're gonna start with the top one because this one is the most relevant. The other four, depending on what order you put them in, it doesn't really matter. So our first one is this painting. It is a painting of an organ. Our second painting is a painting of a woman. Or a woman's face. Our third painting is a painting of an egg. 
Looks delicious, doesn't it? Our fourth painting in this position is a painting of a bed. And the final painting is a bag of gold. So with the information given in these paintings, the player should be able to solve the puzzle. Do you have the answer? I'll give you just a quick second to figure it out. Did you get it? Now that the players have seen the paintings, they can go back to the puzzle part of the room where the organ is at. Now let's solve the puzzle. In the clue room, the organ was on top. Um, it was above the other four pictures. Just to kind of let the players know that find the organ and the four paintings below are your clues. So we find the organ and our first clue is the face of a woman. Actually, the clue is face. F A C E The second clue is an egg E G G The third clue is a bed B E D and the final clue is a bag of gold, or a bag, B-A-G. So the answer to the puzzle are in keys that can be pressed on the organ. Now, once the players have figured this out, they have to figure out which keys to press. And as a DM or GM, you can hand them this uh, printout of the piano keyboard or the organ keyboard and have them show you which ones they're going to press out. Now this is where it gets tricky because if your players are not musicians or know anything about a piano they don't know where the keys are at on the keyboard. If you have a bard in your group they can do a knowledge check and they can say sure F is always to the left of three keys and C is always to the left of two keys. So if we started right here to the left of two keys is C. So if this is C, this is D, this is E, this is F, this is G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and so on. I'll fill them in for us. So now any of the players can take the clues that they were given and they can play the organ by hitting F A C E E G G B E D B A G and when they complete that a real door will appear to the east and they can continue on through the dungeon now then real quick before we go what happens if there is not a bard in the group well my suggestion is maybe have a scroll in this box here and when the players search the box the clue F is to the left of 3 C is the left of 2 so F is to the left of 3 and C is to the left of 2 so maybe with that clue the players can figure out okay that's the C key that's the F and then fill in the rest. 
and it's up to you if the players struggle with it. I would encourage them to maybe Google it on their phone. That would be acceptable, I think, in my game. If uh, they just need to Google it and see what the keys are, I'm totally fine with that. Um, but the main clue is to just figure out the paintings. They need to figure out that this one here means face, which is F-A-C-E, and then egg, and then bed, and then bag, and use the letters that spell those words, punch them out on the organ, and open the door. So that's my puzzle, the key of C. And again, I just want to stress that the main part of the puzzle is the paintings. I want the, I want the players to figure out that the picture of the woman is actually supposed to be face. The bag of gold is just bag. And I want them to transfer the spellings of, of the subject of those paintings onto the organ keyboard. I'm not too worried about them knowing where the correct keys are on the, core, uh, on the keyboard to play it. Like I said, they can Google the answer if they want to, or I'll just keep throwing hints out there and scrolls or knowledge checks or whatever I got to do so they know where the, um, the, you know, the, uh, the keys on the keyboard are enough so they can type in the answers to the puzzle. So that's my, uh, that's my video for the day. Uh, what did you think? Did you like it? Is there something that you would do different? And have you used it yet? And if you did, uh, please tell us about it in the uh, comments below. We'd love to hear um, any kind of uh, feedback on it. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, on to the next.